The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Four, three, two, one. And lift off. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and four solid rocket boosters ignite to generate the two and a quarter million pounds of thrust to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound at 35 seconds. At 47 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. All four solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, are jettisoned at 1 minute 50 seconds. 1 minute 40 seconds later, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Approaching booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V burns propellant at a rate of 1,856 pounds per second, traveling at over 13,340 miles per hour and is located 83 miles in altitude and 267 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs 4 minutes 22 seconds after liftoff. 6 seconds later, the booster stage is jettisoned. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff 4 and a half minutes earlier. 10 seconds after booster separation, the first Centaur main engine start takes place. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs just over 12 minutes after launch. The mission now enters a nearly 10 and a half minute coast phase. At 22 minutes 38 seconds, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last five and a half minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine start, at 28 minutes 9 seconds, the mission now enters a three hour coast phase. Just over three hours 28 minutes after liftoff, the Centaur is started for a third and final burn. Approximately a minute and a half later, final cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs. At 3 hours, 32 minutes, and 31 seconds, Centaur releases the GOES-S satellite for NOAA and NASA.